Today is a Jewish fast day. In Hebrew, it's called Shiva Sarba Tammuz, and in English, it's called the 17th of the Hebrew month of Tammuz. This is the start of a three-week mourning period of the destruction of Jerusalem and the two holy temples. On this day, thousands of years ago, the Romans breached the walls of Jerusalem which three weeks later led to the burning and destruction of our holy temple. And the Talmud also says that before that, with the first holy temple, this is the time that the Babylonians breached the walls in order to destroy the first holy temple. So what do we do on this fast day? Well, the first thing is fast. It's called a fast day, and that means no eating or drinking. This is not one of those long 25-hour fasts. This is one that begins as the sun rises and ends as the sun sets. And those who fast are of bar and bat mitzvah age and older. So who might not fast on a day like this? Someone like me, who's a type 1 diabetic. My son, who's right now in Israel, will not be fasting as a type 1 diabetic. And there are many other physical reasons why someone wouldn't fast if they're pregnant. Some people, you know, with eating disorders or things like that, they discuss that with their doctor. And many will discuss it with their rabbi as well. Now, not every Jewish person observes fast days. I want to just be very clear about that. So if you see a Jewish person eating today, there may be many reasons why they're eating on a fast day. They may just not observe or have other physical reasons why they're not observing. Today is a mournful day, and for the next three weeks, we will be in mourning. Because with every generation that the Holy Temple is not rebuilt, it's as if it's being destroyed right now. 